I think George is an icon. I mean, certainly. Uh, I mean, I've lived in, in, in San Diego for over 40 years, uh, started my business here, raised my family here. And uh, so I'm very familiar with uh, the landscape and uh, certainly when it came to TV, financial news, um, George was a man. I started at the Boys and Girls Club of San Marcos in 1988 as in my young 20s as an entry level position, moved for 25 years and came back. And George was on the board when I first started there as a young person. And a group of founding fathers and mothers, because there were some women uh, involved as well, came together and really felt a Boys and Girls Club through Boys and Boys Club of America at the time would have been the best fit for San Marcos. Um, they started in a small portable building um, at Woodland Park Elementary School at the time, now it's a middle school, and it happens to be right behind George's house. In my experience, um, if George likes you, you might be treated with a generous pat on the back and a good job, kiddo, no matter how old you might be. He's a well-known financial analyst, Wall Street type. In fact, I listened to him on the radio this morning as I was coming here. For years and years, he has a, a very dedicated following of people who trust him. His advice, his guidance, his unbiased opinion as a lecturer, as a workshop facilitator in investment, market performance, and just being safe and smart in anything connected to finance. We were a publicly traded company. I was very interested on a day-to-day -day basis what was going on with the stock market, and uh, I would, you know, tune into George Chamberlain and catch the show in the morning before I got to work. And and the thing that struck me about George, um, he seemed to be really knowledgeable. You know, there was a gravitas about George um, that I really liked and respected. And so, um, so I that's one of the main reasons I like to listen to him too. But there, he was also very friendly and enthusiastic. You know, and so it's just like you know the uh, the guy I'd have a beer with test. You know, George passed that test for me. He was one of those guys that even though I just knew him on TV, um, you know, I thought that's a guy I'd like to have a cold beer with. What a presence, um, what a man, what a kind spirit. Um, we're so fortunate at New Haven to have him as a board member and we've had him as a board member for almost 10 years now. He is the one that usually raises his hand and says, now wait a minute, before we take this any further, have we thought about X? Have we thought about why? Uh, always in a respectful way and uh, very articulate. The club didn't have running water when it started and George ran a hose over the fence from his house to the portable where the Boys and, Boys and Girls Club was. So not only did he invest his time, treasure and talent, he invested his water as well. So you look at where we were to where we are today, um, serving the amount of kids we do with a $2.4 million budget. Um, if it wasn't for these founding past the hose over the fence days, um, all of these kids that have had uh, the beneficiary um, of these great people who helps have a vision for our community, um, it wouldn't have been possible. For us at New Haven, I feel like it was a, a twofer. We got George, but we also got Terry Chamberlain. And so um, together they're a dynamic duo. And I know George would say the same thing about Terry as well, is that you know he um, can do all the things that he's been able to do over his life. Um, um, because of, he, of his wife Terry and a, a strong family. I'm so glad the Vista Chamber is recognizing George. Anybody who knows George has heard him say a million times, I'm a North County guy. I live in Vista. So congratulations, George. You deserve this because you are the Vista guy. Congratulations, George Chamberlain. You're the best. I just want to thank you personally for not only being a youth in San Marcos growing up there, but also um, as the CEO who's been able to carry the torch this time. And we are serving more kids than ever, and we are a healthy organization, and we're financially stable. And a lot of that is because of what you've done for us. We are so grateful to have your friendship, to have your loyalty, to have your support at New Haven. Um, you've made such a big difference over the past 10 years um, that you've been part of our board. We really appreciate you. We appreciate everything that you do for us. We appreciate you and Terry and, and your entire family because we know that without the support of Terry and your family that we wouldn't have the opportunity to have you on our board of directors. We want you to keep up the good fight. You can win this battle. You got this. Uh, we'll continue to pray for you, support you. George, congratulations on the Lifetime Achievement event. 
quite an honor, well deserving. And George, you've got a huge amount of fans. I'm one of them. Keep up the good fight. We are, uh, we are just proud beyond words for your achievements. And we're so happy to have you as a friend. Take care, my friend.